Hi there. In this video we're going to be looking at one of the possible reasons for the machine not emptying all the water out at the end of a wash. There are two main causes for this. Either the pump's not working for some reason or there's a blockage. In this video we're looking at the sump in relation to a blockage. Before we start work on any domestic appliance, disconnect it from the power supply first. The washing machine is still full of water and you can't get the door open. But how do you know if it's the pump or a blockage? Just tilt the machine backwards and prop it up with a block of wood or something and put the outlet hose in a washing up bowl so it's as low to the ground as possible. If it's fixed to the rear of the cabinet by a clip then undo it. If it's the pump the water should run out into the bowl. If not then you have a blockage. If after about 3 minutes of the machine being disconnected from the mains the door still doesn't open then undo these two screws and remove the top. Pull the hose off the pressure switch and this will release all the air in the pressure chamber which should also release the door lock. Before you open the door make sure the machine is tilting backwards or you may flood the floor. When you've removed your washing bowel out the water from inside the drum. Now move to the back of the machine and undo these screws which are holding the inspection plate on. Tilt it forward and prop it up with a block of wood or something similar and slide a washing up bowl or deep tray under it to catch any water that may come out when the sump's disconnected. As long as you have a bowl or something under the machine to catch the water, it really doesn't matter which hose you take off first. Although you can leave the sump connected to the pump while you remove the filter, it's easier to take the whole thing out and work on it in the open. Be aware when you remove the sump from the container that there may be a bit more water than you expected if the drum was not completely emptied, so make sure the bowl is in place to catch it. The filter is inside the sump hose and it's this that gets clogged, usually with lime scale and small objects, but on occasion an item of washing will get drawn in between the drum and container and end up causing a blockage. Although smaller items will block the system over time, you'll usually notice a difference in your wash results beforehand. As you can see the filter on this machine is held in place by a clamp ring and it can be removed without taking the sump off, but on other models they're inside the sump which has to be removed to access it. Apart from the item of washing caught in this filter, there's been a build up of scale and soap residue over a number of washes, which in itself would have caused the problem later on. These filters don't need to be spotlessly clean when they're refitted, but the collar which the clamp ring fits onto should be, or you may get a leak. There's a lip of rubber on the sump that fits into the cutout on the filter rim. If fitted incorrectly, it would allow small particles of scale etc to get sucked into the pump during spin, so make sure they're lined up when refitting. Do the clamp band up tight, but don't over tighten it or you could cut into the rubber of the sump, or crack the base of the filter. If you have a pair of hose clip pliers, they're by far the best thing for refitting these clips, but other ordinary pliers or grips are fine. I wouldn't suggest buying a pair just to fit a few clips, but an engineer may consider them a worthwhile purchase.
When you're happy that all the hoses are tight and secure and everything's as it should be, then refit the inspection panel and stand the machine up. Don't forget to reconnect the hose onto the pressure switch or you'll flood the machine the first time you use it. Put the top back on, screw it down and the machine is ready to be water tested. On behalf of Selfix UK, we'd like to thank you for watching this video and hope you found it interesting. Goodbye.